Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another DeepView tutorial. Today we'll be talking about how to create a new screen in DeepView and how to use the unique and or filtering system to create comprehensive as well as precise screens that save you time during your workflows and also allow you to find ideas faster. And to bring these ideas to life, what we're gonna be doing is creating a screen that looks for stocks that have a general liquidity threshold, are in strong uptrends, and also have either superb earnings growth or sales growth. So let's go ahead and get started. And the first thing you need to do to create a new screen is click the new screen button over here. And this brings up the create new screen pop out. Then what we want to do is add the mandatory criteria to our filtering system. And what you can do is either look through the drop down menus or use the search function. First things first, let's add the liquidity requirements and let's make sure that the price of the stock and let's set that to the last price is greater than let's say $20 a share and let's add that over to our filters. You can see it updates over here, shows you the number of results that are passing through the screen at this current time and updates the results in real time. Next, let's go ahead and add the average dollar volume criteria. So let's go ahead and search that in the search bar and let's set the 50 day average dollar volume to greater than $50 million every single day on average. So let's go ahead and add that to our screen. And now that we've got these liquidity requirements set, you can see that the number of results has dropped dramatically. And the next step is to add those technical criteria to make sure that the stock is in uptrend. So let's go ahead and search SMA. And let's make sure that the stock is above both a 50 day moving average. So let's click yes, as well as a 200 day moving average as well. And you can see we further narrowed down the criteria. Now, if at any time you do want to edit any of these filters, you can do so by simply clicking it. And that brings up to the very top that particular criteria. And what you want to do is click it and then make any changes that you would like. Let's set this now to above $25 a share instead. And you can see that it updates automatically on the right hand side, as well as in the live list. Now, remember what we want to do here is create a screen that looks for outstanding earnings growth or sales growth along with the liquidity as well as uptrend criteria. And in most screen platforms, what you'd have to do is create one screen that looks for earnings growth, one for sales growth, and both of them would basically have the same criteria, the same mandatory criteria here in group one. But luckily enough in deep view, we've got a feature that allows you to do all of this in one screen, which saves you time and makes your process more efficient. So let's go ahead and start that process. And what we have to do is add an or group by clicking this button down below. Now that we've added this or group, let's go ahead and click it. And that activates this group, which means any criteria we add will now go over here. And if you ever wanna add stuff back to group one, all you'd have to do is click it right here and you can see it's now selected. Let's go ahead and select the or group. Um, now let's move on up to the search bar, type in EPS and look for earnings growth last quarter. And let's set that to greater than 100%. Now let's also go ahead and add the revenue growth. So let's go ahead and type in sales and click sales growth percent. Look at the quarterly, the latest quarter, and let's go ahead and set that to greater than 100% as well. So this completes the screen, but let's now take a step back and talk through what it means to have this group one, which is an and group, and this group two, which is an or group. Uh, so first things first, because this is an and group, every stock that passes through the screen must meet all four of these different criteria. All four of these has to be met and be present for a stock to show up in the results. However, when we get to the OR group, only one of these two criteria has to be met for that stock to pass through. So it must meet all these four criteria, and then one of these, they can meet both, but it has to at least meet one. So it can look for either earnings growth or sales growth in this case. And this ability to have both and groups in DFU as well as or groups really unlocks so many different possibilities when it comes to screening to combine fundamental and technical criteria to create master screens and really get the most out of the platform and make your process more efficient. Uh, you can add even more than one or group and really get creative to tailor these screens to exactly what you would want to see. So I highly recommend playing around with this and see what you can come up with. But for the purposes of this tutorial, uh, we are completely done with our criteria. And the next step is to go ahead and click save screen, which brings up the create new screen dialog box. And let's go ahead and name this tutorial. And let's name this 100% EPS slash sales. 
Then once you've got your name, you can save it to a different folder. We'll go ahead and keep it to the general folder here and then click save. There you go. Now the screen is live and you can go ahead and select the column set that you would like. Let's go ahead and add the main set. So there you go. Now that main set of columns is now loaded with the screen. And once you've created a few screens, you can always go ahead and use this drop down menu to load a particular screen that you've created. And also you can take a look at the screen of presets that we've created for you. Uh, so that's pretty much it for creating a new screen. Let us know if you have any questions and uh, we'll go ahead and make a few more examples of all the possibilities that you can have in DView in future tutorials. So thanks for watching and take care.